Good afternoon, everyone. This is Tammy Hands from Tammy Hands Ministries, and I just have a very short message for you right now. Um, it is Saturday, May 21st, 2022, and um, uh, on um, May 19th, 2022, um, I got this vision. I got a whole bunch of visions that night. Um, different things God was trying to show me. Now, not everyone is going to know about this, but do you know about, have you ever seen when uh, a plane flies overhead and it leaves that smoke trail behind it? That's from a regular, you know, passenger plane, let's say, right? We see it way up there in the little smoke trail after it. Well, I don't know if you've noticed in your area, but there are a lot of what they're calling chemtrails because they're chemical trails and there's all kinds of planes up in the sky and and they're leaving a very wide white trail of smoke it's not as high up like a plane a, a passenger plane is maybe 25 or 30,000 feet way up there these ones are lower so that smoke trail or the chem trail they're calling it is is very wide i've been seeing this um, around for a while and I mean, there's a lot on some days you can see like trails this way, that way, this way. And there, there, there could be like eight in the sky and they're all crisscrossing each other. And, and it's weird. Like we have never seen this kind of thing before. And it's not a passenger plane because I've seen those. They're tiny. They're way up there with a little smoke trail. This is lower and they are uh, very wide tr uh, smoke trails. So other people have noticed this, and if you look online and look up chemtrails, meaning chemical trails, we're all wondering, uh, it can't be good, like why are they spraying all this stuff? So pay attention to this if you want, and you're going to see, um, I mean, sometimes it's every day, sometimes it's once a week, sometimes it's like I don't see it for a couple of weeks, but if you just start randomly looking up in the sky, you will start seeing, um, you know, these smoke trails. And there's a plane, you see the plane going, and, it, and it's a trail, and then it just, as it's dissipating, it gets wider and wider and comes out. So we know that they're poisoning the air with something. I don't know what. Um, I knew it was something bad, and they're not saying what it is, but people are starting to kind of, um, you know, uh, talk about this online. So if you want to look up anything, um, I don't know exactly what's in those chemical trails, but it's it can't be good. So I'm sleeping. And um, let me just see, I forgot to pull it up. Uh, I want to give you the, the, the time and everything of when I got this. Uh, sorry, here it is. Um, sometimes um, I don't put the date or the time, but I, I, I didn't. Um, I thought maybe I'd have the exact time, but I didn't on that one. Um, so this is what I saw. I was on top of the chemical trail up in the sky and I was the chemical trail was moving quickly already right like it it's a, an airplane it's got to be going pretty fast right so I'm up there uh, and I'm above it and and I was moving so let's say this is the the trail and it's it's it, it, it's moving fairly quickly. So I'm on top of it and I'm moving a little bit faster than the trail. So I'm making headway on it. I'm getting speed on this um, chem trail, moving towards the plane, like the beginning of the, the, the chem trail. So I'm, I'm moving along this, this smoke trail and I'm, I'm, I'm gaining speed so I can get to the start of it to see what's happening. Like who's making this smoke trail? Like what's this all about? So you know, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just standing there, but I'm above this chemtrail and I'm getting, I'm getting speed going quicker and quicker, uh, um, to the, to the starting point of this chemical trail. The trail turns into a huge snake. So it's smoke that now snake, and I'm still making headway, getting to the start of, you know, who's making this, this trail. So now I'm like, you know, on, on top of a huge snake and I'm, I'm moving quicker than what the, the, the airplane was going and I get to the start of it and it was a huge snake head. So some of you are going to know what that means. The enemy 
a snake represents the enemy, the devil, Lucifer, um, Satan, and, 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 you know, we know he came in the Garden of Eden with, as a snake. Um, so that told me right then and there that everything I thought about those chemtrails is true. It's something bad. They're, they're putting poison in the air because God showed me that the chemtrail, it turned into a big snake and a huge snake head was at the front of it, meaning it's wicked. It's something wicked. And, it, and it's being um, delivered by, you know, whoever's at the top of this saying, you know, paying the people to spray this stuff with their airplanes. The guy at the top is the wicked one. So something bad is going on with that. That's all I know. It was just a, that, that little vision. It confirmed to me, but I still don't know what it is. But uh, I, I want you to keep your eyes open and start looking in the sky for these uh, chemtrails, as they call them. And you can look it up online, see what you find, see what you find out about it. Um, but it, it, it's something not good. God confirmed it because, you know, at first I was thinking, oh, I, you know, we always hope for, for the best. And we think, you know, maybe it's, I don't know, you know, I don't even know. I knew from the start it was going to be something not good because uh, when they're spraying that much in the air, that isn't good for our breathing and it's not good for us. So um, this is something that we need to look into anyway. And uh, I just thought I would deliver that. And I'm not any person in authority that knows what to do with this information. All I can do is give you the information, that the, the, uh, the vision that God gave me. And if there's somebody that knows how to get to the bottom of it, great. If not... We'll just keep our eyes and ears open. And actually, um, there is something we can do um, at our end. And uh, my, my friend and I, uh, we when we see those chemtrails, we go outside and we say, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, through the authority of Jesus Christ, we command all those chemtrails to be gone and all those poison toxins are putting in the air. We send you back to the to the abyss, to the we return to sender, and we, we command none of those um, chemicals to touch any human being, any of our ground, any of our animals, any of our trees, um, any of our oceans. We command it to go back to the sender and we will not be affected by the poisonous um, chemicals in those chemtrails in the name of Jesus through the authority of Jesus Christ. So we've been doing this for a while already. So I shouldn't say there's nothing we can do. There's a huge thing we can do. We pray against it. And what the enemy meant for evil we turn it for good because we're praying against it and we're sending it back to him. Return to sender. Those chemicals go back to the enemy and they will not hurt or in infiltrate our land. It will not hurt a human being or any of our trees, land, oceans, water, or animals, nothing. Because the authority of Jesus Christ rules over all. And when we call out his name, he will deliver. So, Everyone get together and start praying against these chemical trails, please. God showed it to me. It's something wicked, and, and we need to pray against it. That's that's our, our work for the day, for the weekend. But keep, keep your eye out. Every time you see it, just cast it out. Keep praying. Cast it out. We will not accept that. Whatever those chemicals are, we cast it, and we send it to the abyss. We send it to hell. We send it um, far out where in, and let it dissipate in the air where it will not touch anybody or hurt anybody. Just say that kind of stuff. I just wanted to come on really quick and uh, throw that out at you. And um, and I, I wish everyone, um, you know, a great day. And God bless. Amen. <laughs>